So Pierce creating the play. He had a good year last year, his second season in the league. Rolling out is RG3. And shades there of what we saw from him back in 2012. Boy, what a what a journey for this guy. You go back to 2012, he was the toast of DC. He was absolutely the the number one guy in terms of getting publicity that year. He was gonna be the future of the league, but after that it was a lot of injuries. He went to Cleveland. You can win a, a few bets by saying who's the only quarterback, the starting quarterback who won a game for Cleveland in the last two years. When they were 1-31, it was RG3 against San Diego two years ago. Exactly right. And it is. And that one is dropped. Oh, as picked off. And it may, be picked, may have been picked off. Chicago thinks they have it, and they do. Oh, what a call by Doug Peterson. Oh, what, a so masterful, what a masterful game he called. Meanwhile, this is dropped. Look at the number of free plays you see. Second down and one from the 48-yard line. Play action. Griffin escapes, come fake throws, caught. First down and a lot more. Gus Edwards, and he'll take it all the way down to the 29-yard line. Quarterbacks are taking a sack on this one. He's getting the pressure, and instead he jumps to the outside, waits just long enough for Edwards to turn around and find the football. And so now we're starting to see RG3 get back to RG3 here a bit because I mean, rookie of the year, he was one of the most exciting players we've seen come explode on the scene in many, many years. Absolutely. He was out of football last year. The Ravens tried to get him into camp just before preseason, but he felt the timing wasn't right. And that throw into a tight window is caught by Nick Boyle. He dropped one earlier on the drive. Gain here of 12 yards and a first down for the Ravens. Okay, this is what I thought Robert Griffin did not do a great job of in Washington. Catch it, read it quickly, get the ball out of his hands. So now not only do you have to defend the scramble and the movement kind of plays and the read option kind of plays. Starter play. in 12, starter in 13 before losing the job to Kirk Cousins. And that is caught and into the end zone goes Max Williams, a tight end for the touchdown. Plays. So more and more seeing these fullbacks coming out. This time a tight end lined up as fullback. But again, it's Griffin's ability to buy just a little time to scramble, to move out of the pocket, to avoid that first pass rusher and Kylie Fitz and create that kind of play. What Second down and goal. Pressure is put on and the catch is made at the five yard line, just about at the line. A little trouble with speed inside and out, but does have a little athleticism to him too. Yeah, he pulled there to the right side and the play goes to the left side as Griffin picks up about a it's yard. 2,000, name how many teams have done that. So. Uh, Pretty complete resume, and it's going to be interesting because Down up the 32-yard line. Quick throw, caught on the outside here to the 37. Goes to be Dad always tried to instill a little mean streak. If it's like he was listening. 32. Griffin's going to keep it. Can he turn the corner? Very close. Where to cross the line, and they're going to give him a first down. Yeah, that Robert Griffin the third at one time was a great sprinter as well. And for all we talk about Lamar Jackson, RG3 actually had his 40 time was one one hundredth of a second faster about his knee. So of course, I'm always the one to ask the stupid question. I was like, okay, how's, how's the knee doing now? And he said, it was five years ago. Everywhere I go, people still ask me about my knee. He said, they know how to fix knees now. My knee is fine. It's not a problem at all. Second and 11, just thankfully has an opportunity. Can he stick is the question. As RG pump faked and throws a bullet and it's dropped at the 40.